man, I'm trying to go do a wheelers up the hill here with my dual sporties. I'm gonna go to my favorite, my favorite, my favorite place to get my longest wheelies at. And the one sheriff is in front of me. Oh, good, he's turning off. Woo wee! The one sheriff for the whole county. I was hoping I didn't have to follow him. I'd have to find a place to pull over. I haven't been on too many rides with my dual sporties. Dunlop D606s. Pulled up a couple little wheelers. And they felt pretty good. okay right that was a pretty okay chased it a little bit but you can't have everything third gear third gears for those third queers oh, I haven't even practiced wheelies I haven't even rode the bike in like forever it feels like Oh, when I have, it's been off-road. With my dual sporties. Getting a little bit of road action. One, one more. Yeah, remember how I was bitching about third gear pull-ups suck? Well, today I guess they're pulling right up with my dual sporties. I guess that wasn't too bad. All third queer. I'm still chasing it just a little bit and not as smooth as I'd like to be with the throttle. But, uh, not bad. Not bad for practice, not practicing wheelies for quite some time. God, I can't even remember when I had my supermoto wheels on last. I've been in dirt trim for such a long time. But I don't even know if I'll ever put my supermoto rims back on. Because I'm digging these Dunlop D606 if I haven't even, if I haven't said them like six times already. Uh, they handle pretty dang good. I want to say, for, for especially for how knobby they are. I rode with my other Dunlop AC81s, I think. 91, 81s on the street. And those are sketchy as all fuck. Uh, Geolanders or Geomax or something like that. These ones handle like a street tire on the street and like a knobby on the dirt. It's just nutsoid with your nuts in a void. Right up third gear. Whoa! I know that was chasey. That was Chasey McChaserson, but I was trying to rock it back and I'd slow down a little bit. I'm still not using the brake as much as I'd like to. I'm not sure if someone comment if they know which front tire is heavy, heavier, a 21 off-road tire or the 17. Because the 17s, I want to say, probably are heavier. And I just gave my bike a little maintenance we have fresh oil clean air filter and chain and it's it just feeling great oh, I drifted into the other lane around the corner that's not too good These wheelie ropes are no joke, son. Pull them right up. I just gotta find a better place with a straighter road. I don't think there's really much around me. But if I could find even a straighter road, then those wheelie ropes would go on a little bit longer. I mean, a little bit longer. Another straight stretch in the road. Straight stretch in the road. Yeah. 
getting a little bit better at the wheelie ropes with my dual sports. Dual sports! Yeah, I don't even know if I'll ever put my supermoto wheels on. If you watch my other video, I got a set of S for sale. Or dirt wheels. I can't. It's an S rear and an RMZ 250 front. And then these are stock S's. And then I got my supermoto wheels. I'm definitely going to sell one set of dirt wheels. I'm going to try to sell my other ones, but I guess I would sell these if I had to and just put money into my other ones. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll sell my supermoto rims too. Because how I ride, that now that I don't live in the city anymore, these 606s are the freaking way to go. Because they handle pretty darn good on-road and they handle extremely excellent off-road. Yeah, because I did, you probably watched all my North Idaho uh, trail ride series. I hope you did. If you didn't, go back and watch it. I did that all with these tires. You know, those are pretty gnarly trails. And yeah, full knobby off-road and handle pretty darn good on-road. I don't think I can beat that. When the super motos, you know, ha handle excellent on the street, but there's only three paved roads around me. They hand handle excellent on the street and handle like complete garbage off-road. Well, I like to do it just, just to show off, I guess. Just show people that, yeah, you can ride a slick off-road. I've done it many times. Everyone's pretty amazed. But these knobbies are the freaking way to go. Yeah, because you have to be in the dry for the Supermoto slicks. 17 to even be remotely capable. The second the dirt gets wet, it's like, nope, 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 unless you're on completely flat ground and then you're like ice skating. But if you try to go up a wet hill, wet, muddy, dirty hill, you're never gonna make it. Never! Unless you get like a huge run out and can carry your momentum all the way up the hill. Oh, there's a big mountain over there. So, yeah, 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 606 is for the win. 606 for the win.